Hey everybody, this is Brian. This is video 8 in our Java tutorial. Today we're going to talk about inheritance. No, no one's going to be getting rich. So what is inheritance? Well, we're going to make a new class. And let me move this down so you can actually see it. And we're going to call it an animal. So there's our animal class. You see there's nothing in it. And we're just going to, for the sake of argument, say it has a public string name so the animal class has a string variable in it called name and let's make another class here and we'll call it cat simply because I was thinking of what mess my cat is making in the other room and we will give the cat uh, public Boolean. Whoops. We'll say claws equal true. Cat has claws, which is why I'm wondering what sort of mischief the cat is getting into right now. Save your work. Save it again. Go back to your start class, this handy little guy we've been working with this whole time. Notice how there's nothing in it. We've got our public static void main in our start class. Well, we're going to make an instance of this animal class. Oops, call this m animal equal new animal. And we're going to make an instance of the cat. Oops, you see how we forgot our our brackets here. That's called a constructor. Um, similar to a, a method where you have an arguments list. When you have no arguments, you just have brackets. Now you see when we take our animal, we do animal dot, we have some things in here. Well, where did all these come from? We have name, which <clears throat> we added. There's our name. But we have all this other stuff. Equals, class, hash code, notify, weight, to string. What is all this? We didn't put this in here. Well, you can see over on the right it says object. What does that mean? Well, inheritance is a very simple topic, meaning everything inherits from a cosmic base class called an object. Everything in Java is an object. These are all part of the object class or the object blueprint. We see name came from animal. Name is part of our animal class. Now, every class is an object. So you are automatically inheriting all of these properties. Now let's try cat. See, same thing. There's all of the inherited from the object. Cat has claws. Now we can make our own inheritance chain, and to do that, go into our cat class and we're going to say extends animal once again that's case sensitive so it will be access modifier type in this case class the name cat extends meaning we are extending and then the class that we are extending which is animal so the cat class is going to extend the animal class what does extend mean means you're going to inherit that class in all its glory. So now when you type cat dot, you see the cat has claws from the cat class. It also has name from the animal class. It also has the objects, inherited items. So that's inheritance in a nutshell. Now some languages have what's called multiple inheritance, meaning you can extend an animal and another class, another, another. Java does not do that. The designers of Java thought it would be ridiculous for something to, you know, inherit the properties of an airplane and a refrigerator at the same time, even though there are refrigerated airplanes. Um, we'll cover something called interfaces in another tutorial, which is a handy way of bypassing that limitation. You can make an interface saying it's a refrigerator and an airplane at the same time. But for inheritance, you can only inherit one class. Anytime you inherit that class, you inherit the properties of that class. 
for example, in animal, we're going to say public void breathe, because animals need to breathe, right? We'll say system dot out dot print line, and let's just say I'm breathing. I have asthma, so I actually enjoy breathing. All right, now when we go to cat type dot, you see that we have the breathe method. When we run this, save our work, see, it says breathing. So we have a breathing cat as opposed to a non-breathing cat, which is usually an emergency in this household. Now notice how cat does not have breathing, because once again it's extending or inheriting the animal class. Now Eclipse is a pretty intelligent program. It'll, it'll tell you where you're pulling this from. So it'll say name, you're getting that from animal, breathe, you're getting that from animal, equals, you're getting that from object, claws, you're getting that from cat. Now, one more thing before I, uh, in this tutorial, I kind of wanted to go over here and touch on the packages. See how we have this default package? Well, here are our classes inside the package. Start, cat, animal. Listed in alphabetical order, you can expand out the animal and see that it's the class animal as a variable called name and a method called breathe. And same thing with cat. There's start. So Eclipse gives you a lot of information. Now, what is a package? Hmm. This is the default package. What does that mean? Well, all classes by default are listed in the, ironically, default package. So if we say new package, and we'll call this uh, dogs. There's our dogs package with nothing in it. Right click, go new class, and we'll call it, uh, my old dog's name was Molly. There's Molly. Now you notice how it says at the top, package dogs. That means Molly belongs to the dog package. We can also go ahead and create a new class in the default package called Molly. There's our Molly class in the default. Notice how we have two classes. <clears throat> now what happens if we go to make another cat class? Notice how it won't let us. It says type already exists. Packages are a way of separating your code. So let's just, uh, for the sake of argument, say you make a class called Molly and your friend makes a class called Molly. If they're in the same package, you're going to have a naming conflict and it won't compile. So you make separate packages. So you can have multiple dogs named Molly or whatever you want to name your objects. We'll get into that in a little more depth in future tutorials, but uh, I'm almost out of time, so uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.